Hey, what's up guys, it's number one Pred here, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is the third video of the three videos uploaded today for the, you know, the Farewell of Ghosts, and this video will be based on my Farewells of Ghosts, but hopping into the gameplay straight away before I get into anything else, this is my very, very, very first chem strike ever on called Ghosts, um, I was really, really happy with this gameplay at the time, and uh, I thought, why not upload my first chem strike as my last video? Because that's where it all started, therefore I reckon I should end with how I started. And uh, it was a good start to COG Ghost, so I think this would be a nice way to settle down the COG Ghost season and end it like this. So this is like a five and a half minute chem strike on the strike zone. Um, playing with the SC2010 assault rifle, not the Honey Badger, the SC2010. And this is a gun I actually thought was the best gun in the game before I actually discovered the AK-12 and the, the Honey Badger. And uh, the reason why that was is because this was actually the first day I actually played COD Ghosts. Uh, the game came out on that Tuesday. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to pick it up that day. But on Wednesday, when I did pick it up, eventually I dropped a chem strike when I was like level. 20 something in the game I don't know but uh, it was a really 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 intense game for me because when you go for your first chem strike your heart starts pounding the adrenaline is pushing through your pushing through your veins and uh, you almost can't control your aim and this is how I was at the first you know first time I got my chem strike and you guys may call me campy and stuff like that obviously um, who doesn't camp for their first chem strike everyone's first chem strike was a little bit campy at least so you gotta respect that <laughs> anyways so hopefully you guys do enjoy this gameplay I was really really happy obviously and hopefully I can get an advanced warfare gameplay like a DNA bomb or a nuclear straight away I have heard that the DNA bomb hasn't been achieved by anyone at this moment in time which obviously isn't a surprise because everyone's saying that advanced warfare is absolutely sweaty and obviously it's pre-release right now so uh, you would expect only the people who actually you know have have a passion not really a passion but you know a, a more sort of hardcore for COD will play the game so obviously they'll be better in terms of skill so it won't be so easy and um, mainly obviously on release date is when the noobs will come out and people start getting gameplays more frequently but I'm going to be aiming for the nuclear first off I've got to go for a you know steady start before I go and jump big with a DNA bomb who knows I may get first day but enough about advanced warfare we'll talk about that when I actually get so Today what I'm going to be talking about is the farewell to Cold Ghosts and obviously this will be my last Call of Duty Ghosts video on my channel for a very long time. I mean, I may come back to it in the future in a few months, but for now and for a long time from now, it will be the very end. So, unfortunately Ghost has come to its end of its cycle. It's been a really interesting year. I mean, it's definitely blown up my channel. It's not not exactly blown up, but it's definitely increased my audience by a sub substantial amount. It's got my view ratings from like 38 or whatever, <laughs> from what it used to be, to at least like 200 to 300 per video. Maybe not as much recently, that's probably because I've been posting like 2 or 3 a day, which is completely understandable. And my like ratings would have increased from like 5 to 10 likes to pretty much 40 likes a video, which is absolutely crazy. So yeah, I've jumped from 440 to 450 subs up until where I am now at 2300 and let me quickly check 77 so that's pretty cool I'm really happy about that and it's just been it's been a good year for my channel and the game as I'm gonna, as I'm gonna say isn't the best game it wasn't the best idea ever it was catered so much for camping like what I was doing in this gameplay but I mean come on even now I'm not camping but people still camp the way I was in this gameplay. It's that ridiculous. I mean why why do you have to do that? So that's the only real downfall is that the gameplay speeds and you know interest or fast pacedness of the gameplay was not quite there. The IDs ruined it. There were so many things that got in, you know, the the game's way of being really good. Cause the hit detection was a massive step up from Black Ops 2. The lag was mm, it was a bit better. It wasn't great, but uh, it wasn't bad either and uh, yeah the guns I didn't mind the fact that they kill quick because I mean if you shoot first and you're gonna die uh, you're gonna get the kill sorry not die because that that really annoyed me when it was in Black Ops 2's prime getting shot when I shot first that was really annoying and the chem strike so we have to say goodbye to the chem strike and I enjoyed going for chem strikes just as I enjoyed going for Moabs. It was such a satisfactory feeling when you got the chem strike 
and um, you know you'd be your heart would be pumping for the first 10 or so chems well it did for me anyway my first chem was extreme this is why I was literally just sitting here because I couldn't even couldn't even move my left thumbstick so I was shaking that much so uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video unfortunately ghost is at its end or fortunately for others I mean I didn't hate the game awfully it just wasn't the best so hopefully you guys we're looking for it to advanced warfare content if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button because B stuff will be coming on my channel when advanced warfare comes out have an awesome day guys and i'll see you tomorrow or later you never know peace